Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. Appreciate the one and two be watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. And if your viewers three and above, I'm uh, grateful for you for watching this too. You're my bonus viewers and I hope you enjoy it as well. Uh, today we'll be talking about the South Korean show that came out in 2020 called uh, Mr. Queen. Uh, if you're familiar with the Mark Twain story, King uh, Connecticut Yankee and King Optus Court, you got this type of uh, show where we have a guy in modern day, he's a chef, and he kind of gets in trouble, gets in framed for trying to poison a, I believe it was a Chinese diplomat. And so as he's running away from authorities, he jumps off a building into a swimming pool and he bumps his head and he kind of gets transported back into the Josean uh, era. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, and into a queen's body who happens, the queen at this time happens to be wanting to commit suicide because uh, her life is very... Uh, bad at the, at the moment, I guess. Uh, she loves the king, but he doesn't like her. He thinks that she's evil. And so, uh, somehow, it doesn't really explain in great detail. Uh, he takes her place, and she's kind of trapped into his body, um, and but she has no control of her body, and uh, doesn't really, I guess this is a flaw of the show, doesn't really explain how... Uh, what the dynamics between the two. There are times when she's able to come up to conscious and see and, um, how would you say, be able to uh, de detect how he thinks and how he moves and stuff, his feelings. Uh, this comes later on uh, in the show, in the movie. Uh, but for the most part, get back here on tra track with the plot. This guy from the future gets into his queen's body and he finds out that uh, the court um, or the palace is kind of in turmoil. There's some uh, political conflict and he finds himself in the middle of it. Happens to be the queen is on the side. Her father is the one and her family is the one trying to control the king. And uh, I guess not knowing too much about Korean history, I guess this is uh, like some of this stuff is actual factual like this king actually existed uh supposedly according to the show uh, i guess he's like the worst king ever uh and responsible for kind of like the downfall of uh of korea at this time <clears throat> so uh he kind of helps this king turn around turns out you know the king was supposed to be somebody really stupid and a romanizer but once he finally gets down back in history finds out the king is nothing like that uh the show is a comedy and uh, it's very funny. I found this show hilarious, laughing out loud a lot. Uh, this, um, it's not something you have to, and it's the comedy where you're, it's gonna be lost in trans translation. It's a lot of a physical comedy and some of the jokes, you know, you can understand. Uh, you know, like, uh, the reason I say that is, being American, I watch some British comedy and I don't always get all the comedy, but I have to ask my wife who's from Australia and she gets it more than I do. Uh, but with this one, uh, there's no that jokes are lost in tra translation, stuff like that. Find it very, uh, hilarious, especially at the beginning, uh, where, uh, he's trying to get back to his time. You know, we see him running from his, his uh, palace maids and he jumps what he thinks is going to be the pond or the lake there, uh, on the outskirts of the palace where he came up, where he came from. Uh, thinking that if he jumps in there, he's going to get transported back. And it turns out that the Empress Dowager, or the Queen Dowager, drained the pond and he just lands flat into the uh, into the uh, the lake bed. It's a very funny moment, especially when they do it in slow motion. You see his face and everything. Uh, so it is uh, the comedy very well lands in this. Uh, we have to hand it to the actress. Um, Hopefully I can pronounce her name right. Shin Hai Sun. Hopefully I pronounced her name right. She really knows her part. You really can tell. You really think that she is a guy trapped into a woman's body. Um, just her mannerisms. And uh, she really gets it. She really gets into this role. Uh, really carries this show on. Like there is a lot of great acting. But she's definitely the standout of this show. Uh, she does a fabulous job uh, portraying uh, this guy trapped in a body. Uh if you're wondering, like, it took me a while. Like, I've heard other people talk about how great this show was, but it's always kind of cautious uh, just because of the title, Mr. Queen. And I wasn't really into watching a show where a guy gets trapped into a 
woman's body. Uh, you know, I didn't want, know if it's going to enter kind of that uh, that area, uh, and it really doesn't. Uh, he, if anything, kind of goes in maybe a little bit of the lesbian part, I guess, because he gets in his queen's body, and you know, like he's really uh, uh, thinking. You know, he's trying to check out all the girls back in that time. Uh, there's a part where you know they need to pick out some concubines for the king and he's all excited for it and he's uh trying to pick up the concubines that he thinks are pretty and stuff like that um that part was pretty hilarious there's another part where he's in a bathroom and he's drunk and he forgets that he's a woman and you know he starts saying this dialogue you know about how uh he doesn't have his dragon anymore and there's a guy like right next to him it's hilarious because you know uh, the guy probably thinks he's a eunuch and stuff like that because he's dressed up like a man at that time. Uh, so this part, this show does have some hilarious, uh, some hilarious parts that uh, you'll just love, you know, crack up. And then it does get serious with the political entry of this, uh, but it never goes too far into too serious, you know. Uh, sometimes Korean shows, some do a comedy, but then it gets to like too much drama. And it's like, what were you guys trying to make this show? Are you trying to make this show to be a comedy? Or are you trying to make this to be like a serious uh, drama? And uh, sometimes, you know, they have a hard time balancing these two. Uh, I think they do a great, to keep this light, you know, you do get some serious parts, you do get some um, heavy conflict, you know, uh, uh, especially later on in the show where, uh, you know, when the queen is starting to take more effect over his body and stuff, uh, and, shows you know he has feelings for the king and stuff and let's think if there's just one problem it's that aspect of the show is like how much does the queen have control of her body she control of his feelings and his thoughts and he's control of the movement um or is the queen i should say it's the queen control of his emotions because he's definitely into girls but then you get later on you know he starts getting conflicted and falling for the king but it's kind of hard to say, if it, is it him or is it the queen whose emotions are coming out into that character? I uh, wish it would kind of made that more clear on what's going on there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's I think it's 18, it's 18 or 20 episodes. Let me check my notes here. It's 20 episodes long. Uh, could it be, it could have been more like 18 you know, about 18 episodes, I think, would have been right. So it does kind of carry on. To, there at the end, it kind of gets dragged out a little bit, those last two, three episodes. Uh, but not too heavily. Uh, so if you're still here, grateful for that. On this channel, we're very positive when we give out our grades. You know, uh, we either say something is uh, highly recommend, which means it's fantastic. A lot of people like it. Uh, recommend, you know, your average show, recommend with caution, it's terrible. It's only made for like a niche type of people. For those who like bad movies or bad shows, you'll like it. Uh, this one, I'm going to give this a highly recommend. I think it's fantastic. It's great. Enjoyed it. I'll probably watch it again once I get uh, get around to it. Uh, find time for it. Found everything. Uh, I don't know. Just liked it all together. Uh, the first couple of episodes is kind of a struggle there is a lot of comedic part but his character the queen uh, mr queen's character is kind of frustrating that part because you're like because uh, there's a lot of serious stuff going on around him and he's just uh, very inward thinking and selfish which is his character he's a very selfish uh character uh but after the first couple episodes you know i've that's when, to me, I really started getting into it and liking the show. Uh, the first two episodes aren't terrible. It's just, uh, what's to say they're frustrating. This character's frustrating. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this. Have a great day. And uh, next video, I'm going to talk about Rumble in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. And uh, it's going to be a retro review. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And bye.